everyone. You are watching RPV City Talk on the road. I am here at Ladera Linda Community Park where the community is coming together with city officials for this exciting day, the official groundbreaking of the Ladera Linda Community Park project. Here's more. Welcome. What a beautiful site, beautiful day. I mean, look at this. We've got Forestall in the background. We've got the Pacific Ocean in the background. And here we are at Ladera Linda. Yay. What an amazing site. It's a gift to the community. Um, for those of you who don't know the history of Ladera Linda, it was in the 60s, it was uh, an elementary school. It was a uh, surplus at the time because of a uh, lack of enrollment and ended up um, becoming a city community park. And so these buildings were actually a school, an elementary school, and sort of were adapted to be used um, as a park. And many of you have had um, experiences here, memories here, and you have gone to the multi-purpose room, the classroom. In fact, I have many memories of coming here when, we, when the city first acquired Forestall Nature Preserve, which was the, the first pro property we acquired as a city in 1996, um, before we acquired all the other open space, we used to have a, what was then called the Forestall Steering Committee. And we used to meet here every once a month in one of the classrooms here. And I have a lot of memories, one that actually stands out because I remember it was, it was a cold, rainy morning, because we used to meet at 7.30 in the morning, and we were inside the classroom, and everyone was cold, so we decided to turn the heater on. And um, <laughs> in hindsight, that probably wasn't a wise call, but we realized we were at a point where the buildings really um, outlived their purpose. And so I remember me, and then those of you who know me, I, I, I can be a little dramatic every now and then. And, and I'm like, we got to cancel this meeting where this building's going to blow up. And, um, <laughs> and, and I went back to City Hall, and, and I remember going to the director at the time. I said, I'm not, never going back into that classroom again. Carolyn, you may remember that. Um, I was very dramatic about that. I'm like, it's not safe. <laughs> But here we are. I mean, today is a magnificent occasion. I am very, very happy to be here uh, this afternoon. Um, and it's a significant milestone for Rancho Palos Verdes because we're, we're here to break ground. Where's the dirt? Somewhere. There. Oh, there's the dirt. Um, <laughs> it's where the golden shovels are at. But it, it, we're here to break ground on a dream that started many years ago and a dream to bring a real park and community center to the east side of the city for the benefit of the community. It was a vision that started with the past city council members. Some of you are here th this afternoon. I got Jerry Dehovic there and Susan Brooks. Thank you for coming out. And it was a dream of this current city council. And that dream is about to happen. And that's what we're here for. Um, I want to I want to personally thank not only my predecessors who helped lead that dream. There was Carolyn Lear, there was Carolyn Petru, and Doug Wilmore. That brings us here today. I also want to thank the staff that helped make this the council and the community's vision a reality. I want to thank uh, Ramsey Awad, the director of Public Works, who isn't here today because he's celebrating his uh, child's first birthday. So that's a good occasion for him to miss this a good occasion. Um, I want to thank Karina Banyayas. I want to thank Ken Rukavina, Trang Nguyen, um, Dan Trotner, and all that you did, Corey Linder, and everything that, he, where's Corey? There you are, Corey. Um, Matt Waters, who, who really helped bring this project together. I'd be remiss if I didn't thank um, the Johnson Favreau team that's sitting in the back row and everything that you, you've worked on this project for years. Thank you um, for all your patience and cooperation. Um, and then Griffin Structures, who were the project management team that helped um, take the project from concept and, and move it through the construction development phase in terms of preparing the plans. And that's Griffin Structures, and I think uh, Robert Godfrey's here. Thank you. 
So on that, I, I, I just personally want to thank everyone for coming out today. And I'm going to hand this over to the mayor and take it from there. Thank you, Ara. So remind me next time never to follow you uh, in remarks, because I think, yeah, I got them that page. Um, OK. Um, no, I just want to say that it's, it's a great honor to be here today. It's an exciting day here in Rancho Palos Verdes that we're going to about to break ground on the new Ladera Linda Community Park. Um, I have a long history with Ladera Linda. Both of my sons uh, went to Montessori school here. I remember dropping my oldest off uh, on his first day. He was a, a little less than one year old into classroom A. Um, and then my second son went through the same thing. Um, both my boys went through before they went to elementary school. And I believe my uh, youngest son was the second to last class here at the Montessori school prior to the school being uh, um, uh, dissolved in the uh, in the center or the school being uh, condemned. So I have a lot of memories um, uh, here on the grounds with both my boys uh, shooting basketball out there uh, on the jungle gyms, uh, playing soccer, uh, playing baseball. Uh, as I taught them how to uh, to uh, hit a ball and to uh, and to play soccer. So really exciting that we're here on the eve of uh, of the new community park. This is going to be an amazing facility for the east side of the hill. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, we've had a lot of fits and starts. Um, this, this site was, the buildings, I believe, were condemned almost 15 years ago now, uh, probably 12 years ago. Um, but the school was never meant to last uh, for 50 years. So uh, we're going to put in place a center that is going to serve the entire east side of the community. So it's really exciting that we're about to break ground on it. Um, probably seven years in the planning. Uh, we've gone through many re it, uh, iterations of the design, um, but it's exciting that we're now towards that point. Um, it's been exciting to see that we're uh, on the eve of a 15, maybe 18 month project to turn this from a 1950s, 60 era school into a 21st century uh, community park. Um, and to take advantage of the beautiful site that we're sitting here on, uh, we have phenomenal views of Catalina um, and the Pacific Ocean, which the design, Jonathan Farvo, have been able to take advantage of in working that into the design. And our ability to take this site and rescallop it and make it into a world-class uh, community park serving the east side of Rancho Palos Verdes is, is just so exciting because we really don't have a facility like this on the east side. So it'll be f phenomenal to see uh, dance classes back here, the Boy Scouts, the Girl Cla Scouts, other community organizations being able to have a, a facility on the east side to serve the community and to come together as a community. I know the local residents uh, have wanted to have uh, community meetings um, and uh, have uh, back to maybe uh, community dances. So it's exciting that we're on the eve of being able to provide that. So I really thank uh, my predecessors that have come before me on the city council for pushing this um, through the system and getting us where we are today. Um, we think we have a great project. We think we've uh, uh, conservatively budgeted for it. So our finance department has come up with some great ways to finance this project through a multiple of different funding sources. We think we have um, what we consider um, almost a poster child of how to do a new funding for a site like this and uh, a project schedule that we think is executable. Um, the only thing that we need to do is start it. So uh, now that we're on the brink of doing that, it's, uh, it's phenomenal. Uh, thank you all for coming out today. Um, I think it's always fan fantastic when we can get the community together to be able to start a project like this and to actually see the first shovel of dirt get turned over. So thank you all for coming out and it's gonna be a fantastic uh, event. So, Mayor Pro Tem, would you like to say a few words? Well, of course. You know, don't ever ask somebody that's an elected official if they want to say a few words, because you know they're going to say yes. But my memories go back to the, a long way at this place, too, because my daughter, Laura Ann, 
I won't tell you how old she is now because she'd kill me, but um, when she was little, she used to come right down here for ballet classes. The kids have participated in the Easter egg rolls down the hill and other events. I've even voted for myself here, you know. <laughs> and it's, it's so wonderful when you get to actually see well, we're not at the end result yet, but at least this is the beginning of the end result. Um, because when I was on the council before, I took, I worked five years on Terranea, and it was another six after that before it came into being. And so I really appreciate the work that Jerry, you and Susan have done before I got on the council this time because, I mean, this didn't start yesterday. This is been going on for a while now but i think it's so exciting i appreciate every one of you coming out today and i really think that the neighbors and the east side in general is really going to enjoy this i mean susan used to say all the time we we live in paradise i i believe that from the time i came here 45 years ago and this is going to be a wonderful place to see the environs, the, the ocean and the hills. And I, I'm so excited about this that we're going to get to see it while I'm actually on the council this time. So thank you all for coming out and being a part of this with us. And when it's finished, come back and enjoy. Thank you. This has been a very long time coming. It went through a the phalanx of controversy, but now the council's made a decision, and we're going to move forward. Uh, recriminations are no longer uh, serve any good purpose, so let's take the time to enjoy and revel in what we're going to have, because what the others have said, the east side has been without a decent facility for nigh on to 45 and more years. It's time to get something done. And with time, you'll all find an accommodation and enjoy what we have. And I'm really proud that the council has come to a decision on this and we're going forward with it. So thank you all for coming. Let's move forward from this point on. Thank you. Thank you all for coming as well. I'll just extend um, my thanks as well. I think the city manager and my colleagues have said it quite eloquently already. So I don't have a lot to add other than to say, I'm very proud to have been part of this effort to do something that's gonna provide a meaningful asset to our community for decades and generations to come. And there's only four more words really to say, which is let's knock it down. <laughs> Woo! I didn't expect to speak, but I'm, uh, happy okay, to do so, <laughs> but I, I was just about to compliment the mayor, but I guess I'll forget that part. <laughs> no, everything that I wanted to say was pretty much said, although it's interesting, my family actually had a little bit of the opposite, and the reason I was so passionate about this job is because I do live on this side of town, and I was bringing my son to Bogdanovich, which is, isn't even in our city. Um, so I'm really happy for this community and for the east side of our city to be able to have something like this. And not just for the kids, but for all of us. There's going to be amazing rooms for people to play cards and dance and do art. And so um, I'm just excited for what the future brings for us and all the hard work that everyone put in that Ara already mentioned. Um, it blows your mind when you're in government that you, know, you go through all these meetings and then you get to this point. It's like, wow, this is kind of easy now. <laughs> now we just put it in the hands of the experts and, and they build it. And so I'm really excited. I'm going to be coming over here every month or so just to check out the construction. Many of you know I'm a civil engineer and I know how difficult it is just to do these sort of jobs just from a design standpoint. I was talking to my friends, uh, Johnson Favreau, in regards to this and get, asking him what on a scale from, you know, here to here, where did this one rank? And they said it was up there. But I will say that. I think in this community, having it up there is always important because that means that we're all listening to our, uh, our residents and the people that would use the facility. And if it was just easy, it wouldn't be right. So I, I feel like the extra effort that we spent made it well worth it. And I think at the end of the day, we're all going to be proud of the facility here. So thank you, everyone, for everything you've done. 
And like Eric said, let's build it now. <laughs> So I, I, we'll, we'll ask the council to come up to the, the dirt there. pile here. Please come up and be part of this experience here. And just for those of you who are interested, we're so excited about this project that we're going to be um, live filming the construction and we'll be posting it on the city's website so you can watch the uh, evolution of this new project. Right now, everybody just get kind of a, a half shovel full. Yeah. And at the count of three, just kind of push it, push oh it through, and throw it towards the camera. Throw it towards the camera. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now look at the camera. <laughs> now we're going to go do the beginning of the demolition portion. Yeah, I want to watch that part. Uh, Bring your swing cameras. We have our swing, and then we'll all do it and see. Okay, ready? been a real labor intensive job and Jerry and I worked on a lot of that together but I have to say I mean oh my family my children my daughter took ballet lessons here also and with Laura Ann actually um, and it means so much because this brings us into the 21st century it'll be the first building that we have bringing us forward for a new generation and I'm so excited to see a new generation of people have an opportunity and our existing senior citizens. Um, we will have, there will be rooms and activities as well as for children. It's just on the cutting edge and it's, it's sad in a way that it took so long. I wish we were on the council still when this, th it should have been, it should have been four years ago that this thing was signed on. So that's why I hit that darn thing three times. No, it's, it's bittersweet, like the, some of the commentary there. Both my daughters went to Montessori school here, dance classes in this very room, picnics, birthday parties. Uh, and actually on the way up, I saw my daughter, my youngest, right before I came up here. And she said, where are you going, Daddy? I said, oh, you know, Ladera and Linda, groundbreaking. She said, what are you talking about? And uh, I said, you know, they're going to rebuild it. And she lamented a little bit. But no, this is, this is a long overdue. Uh, it was a lot of work done by a lot of people. It was contentious. I liked uh, former Mayor Dida's comments. It's like, you know, we, we got here. Let's all move forward in a spirit of positivity. It's going to be great coming forward. Uh, this new council did a lot of work. Susan, that finished our work on the financing side, which was pretty contentious too. But this is a great, great project. So we're very happy and happy to be here. Well, I'm hoping to see the, all kinds of different classes for children who live in the area and for seniors who want to come together for meetings of all different types. And so I hope it can serve as a, an important community hub. I'm with the Land Conservancy. I've lived in Ladera Linda for 12 years. And I have enjoyed coming here for yoga classes and um, community meetings. Our HOA meets in this building. And I look forward to doing more of that in the coming years with a beautiful new venue that has no asbestos and that has heating in the winter. Really exciting time. This has been years in the makings. We're about to take a uh, 1960s era school that has been condemned roughly 15 years ago and turn it into a beautiful community center and community park. Um, it's really exciting time. Uh, long time coming, a uh, lot of uh, excitement in the city about being able to bring a major community park to the east side of the hill and support our east side residents. Um, it is uh, all in roughly an 18 
18 million dollar community park. Uh, a lot of that funds has to do with the rescalloping and reutilizing the space here, not necessarily with actually construction of the new building. But the new building is going to be gorgeous. It's going to take advantage of the location we have here with the beautiful views of the Pacific and the Catalina. Um, and we uh, hope to have it under uh, budget and on schedule. Um, and city staff is uh, dedicated to doing that. We've hired a professional outside project manager to help make sure that we are able to uh, take it to uh, fruition. The park grounds will officially close to the public on Monday, March 28th. And um, it'll be closed for 15 months is the anticipated construction duration. And during that time, um, those who have come to the park to um, use the trails at Forestall, the, the gate will be opened for access to Forestall Reserve on weekends only at this time. And if you um, come during the week, you can park along the street on Forestall Drive. Parking in the, in the residential neighborhood is not permitted. It's by permit parking only. All right, well, that's going to do it here at Ladera Linda Community Park. So much excitement about this city project. Stay tuned as this 15-month project gets underway. I'm Liz Brown Swanson with RPV City Talk on the road. Have a great day, everyone.